world match play, huge tournament, obviously means a lot to you personally as yeah. well. Yeah, it does. Um, probably my proudest moment as a dart player uh, to date until I win the Worlds. But uh, no, it's an amazing tournament. Um, it's just the building, the history of the match play, um, what Phil did uh, in the Winter Gardens, uh, the crowd, the fans, the walk-on. It's the best 32 players in the world. Uh, it's just what more do you want for a dart tournament? You know, it's amazing. And obviously, I won it last year, and it'll always hold a, a special place in my heart. It's one of those things you said at the time: win that, and you you are a special darts player. Only great darts players win this title. Yeah, they? I believe so. Um, you know, I think there's a few titles like that. Um, I think obviously the World Championships won, um, and well, the match play. You know, I've won the UK Open, but. Yeah, it's a major, but the match players are one. It's the best 32 players. There's no lucky draws. There's no easy rounds. You're playing the best of the best every single round. Uh, long format. Um, very tough conditions at times in, the, in Winter Gardens. You know, it's very, very warm. Um, so I do think it's probably, you know, the second hardest tournament to win, and I did it. How are you feeling about going there to try and defend your title? I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to being brought on as the defending match play champion uh, back at the Winter Gardens, and we're going to try and grab as many memories of that final day as I possibly can. You know, a lot of people know I'm probably not in the best of forms at the moment. You know, that's not down to my game. It's, I've you know, got a slight, well, I've got an injury. But I'm going to go there, give it 110%. I want to defend that title. I want that trophy back. Um, and I want the Betfed sponsorship money. <laughs> <laughs> um, just finally, I mean, you know, you've been nursing these injury problems for a while, but I mean, we've still seen you play top level darts during that time. I mean, for that week and a half in Blackpool, if it all clicks, I mean, it could be even more special. That'd be more special than winning the first time, wouldn't it? Defending it. Oh, 100%. You know, I, I have had injuries for the last two years and, you know, I'm still winning tournaments, so just imagine how good I'll be when it's all solid. <laughs> but no, um, yeah, it will be. It'd be amazing if it can go back to back. Like I say, you know, it's going to be very tough for me. Um, the very long games and is me, me, me arm going to hold up that long? I don't know until I do it, but I'm going to go there, give it my best shot. You know, the fan, the support I get in Blackpool is amazing and I'll try my best for my fans and my family. Um, start off with the first game, tough, tough opponent in Lutewood House. Beat him, who knows. Nathan, who would, you rather, would you rather win a second Betfred World match play or see England win the Euros? Match play. <laughs> no doubt. No question. <laughs> Darts five aside team. Who are you having? What positions would they play? Right. Nathan in net. Yeah. Um, I'd have um, at the back. I'd have Dolby. He's a big lad. Um, and Littler for the same reason. Um, <laughs> I'll have um, and then the next two will be Joe Cullen because he's not a bad footballer. Um, and another little whippet. There's only little whippets and darts. Um, help me out. Give me someone. Uh, Lee Humphreys. Humphreys. Stick Humphreys up there as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah. More whippety than he used to. Yes. Be. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what advice would you give Gareth Southgate on how to win a trophy, seeing as you've done it? Um, Jesus. Um, don't be scared to change things. There we go. There we go. That's advice from a match play champion. Yeah. Is it coming home? Yeah. You've got to be, <laughs> you've got to be positive, haven't you? But um, they've got to pull the fingers out. But yeah, stay positive if it's coming home. You're a Man United fan. Have they made the right decision in giving Eric Ten Hag a new contract? Yes. There's no one else out, out there, if I'm deadly honest. Um, he won the FA Cup, two trophies, two years. Uh, they've got the better stable now, uh, infrastructure at the top. I think he'll do the job. How many decision. trophies will they win this season, then? None. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one. We'll go for one again. Uh, being a defending major champion for just a second time, how does it feel to be the man to beat in Blackpool? Amazing. And now I know how Phil Taylor feel, felt for 25 years. Do you have a pre-match ritual? Yes. I basically have two songs that from both my daughters that I play before I walk on stage. What are they? I'll tell you that, secret information. I'll tell you. Now, My Girl, Temptations, from my youngest, yep. and Moana, um, How Far I'll Go for Brooke. Do you sing them? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not end dubs that's fine. Uh, yes. Uh, Dark Horse, 
for the world match play. If it ain't you, and it isn't one of the favourites, who should Darts fans be looking at? I think the Dark Horse is probably the world number 29, Little. Probably. He's not that dark, <laughs> is he? <He's> not <laughs> that... Um, dark Horse. Um, as much as it pains me to say it, he's playing really, really well, Schindler. He's playing really well, but I hope he doesn't. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And just finally, would you get a better score throwing with your left hand or with your right hand but blindfolded? Right hand, right hand blindfolded. Every day. You cannot throw with your left hand at all? I can't do anything with my left hand. We'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs>